its needs and desires. I'm reading this book, it's called uh, The Language of Letting Go, Daily Medita Meditations on Codependency by Melody Beatty. This book is awesome. I never even knew about codependency, but now I bought this book for daily meditations, just to focus on how we're all being codependent or not, or causing problems in our own lives. May 21st, getting needs met. I want to change careers. I need a friend. I'm ready to be in a relationship. On a regular basis, we become aware of new needs. We may need to change our behavior with our children. We may need a new couch, love, nurturing, a dollar, or just help. Do not be afraid to recognize a want or a need. The birth of a want or a need, the temporary frustration from acknowledging a need before it's met is a starting cycle of receiving what we want. We follow this by letting go and then receiving that which we want and need. Identifying our needs is preparation for good things to come. Acknowledging our needs mean we are being prepared and drawn to that which will meet them. We can have faith to stand in that place in between. What are your unfulfilled needs or desires? Is this focus of this yoga today? As you flow through this practice with me, just think about what are my unfulfilled needs or desires? Today, I will let go of my belief that my needs will never get met. I will acknowledge my wants and my needs and then turn them over to my higher power. My higher power cares sometimes about the silliest little things that I do. My wants and needs are not an accident. God created me and all of my desires. So this practice is yoga for your desires. Let's get started. And today, focus on what are your needs and your desires. What are your needs? What are your unfulfilled needs and desires? Position yourself into the Tandasana, Hadasana. Feet hip width apart, hands spread out. This is what it looks like. Stretch your arms apart, face, palms facing down, spread your feet apart. Place your right hand on your right leg, above or below your knee. Look straight ahead and look up. Switch. Switch. What are your needs and your desires? Focus on that. Maybe you'll have it all settle out in the next 30 minutes. So just think about it. What are my needs and my desires? What are my unfulfilled needs and desires? As you flow with me today, bring me a little to the left. Bring me a little to the right. Place your hands straight out. 
feet hip width apart, palms up, raise up, open your heart to the sky. And think about your needs and your desires, your unfulfilled needs and desires. Palms back down. Arms straight out. Palms up. Bring them up. Interlock your fingers. Hands on your hips. Squeeze to the left. Switch sides, switch to the right. Face the front. Keep your feet hip width apart. Windmill up and fold. Place a micro band in your knees. Inhale and exhale deeply. Walk your hands to the right. Keep a micro bend in your knees. Rotate to the left. Keep a micro bend in your knees. Come back to the center. Cross your right, right hand on the left. Bend your knees. Inhale and exhale. Place your hands on your knees. Raise back up. Place your hands on your hips. Place your hips back. Arms into a cactus. Turn to the twist to the right. Reverse. Twist to the left. Return to the center. Twist to the right. Return to the center, twist to the left, return to the center, make sure your hips press back, tummy in, and fold. Bend your knees. Raise back up. Bring your column, bring your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders up and back. Roll your shoulders forward. And think about your unfulfilled desires and needs. Bring both of your hands, arms up, palms facing each other. Wrap your right hand under the left. This is level one. Level two, palms are facing each other. Level three, raise those elbows up. Make sure your feet are hit with Heart. My, put a micro bend in your knees and fold straight up. In your knees, fold back up. Uh, unwrap your palms, switch sides. 
The left is under the right. Level one, level two, level three, raise those palms up. Make sure your feet are hit with apart. And put a bend in your knees. And so Bend your knees, raise back up. Move your arms. Breathe in and out. Grab your hips. Roll your hips to the right. Hips, left, roll your hips all the way around. Turn into the neutral position. We're going to do cat cow, stand it up. So I'm going to go cat, push my hips out, cow, cat. Pull my hips in, push my hips out, push my hips in, push my hips out, push my hips in, push my hips out, push my hips in, push my hips out. which I'm counting a corner of my heel. Point my left toes to the left. Stretch my arms out. Turn my palms up just to keep things level. Turn them back down. Push to the left. Return. Switch sides, push to the right, switch sides, turn the left foot out, cat a corner to the back, push it out, turn that right palm up, left palm just rested either below your knee or above your knee, but not on your knee. I can bring it here. I can look down. Or I can look up. I can twist that arm and fold and rise. Bring those arms back up. Warrior prep the back foot. Straighten out the front. Move all the way forward. Look to the sky. The left hand is up. The right hand is either below the knee, above the knee, and never on the knee. So I'll place it above, below the knee. I can look down. I can look up. I can either have my hands straight up. Or Rise back up. Rest those arms a little bit. Stretch those arms out. 
warrior prep that back foot then the left knee place the left hand warrior one excuse me this is warrior two this is warrior one This is warrior two. Exalted warrior. Place your hand, your arm on your side. Extended side angle. You can look to the floor. You can look straight ahead. You can look up, your hand can be here, and here. Inhale and exhale deeply. And you can drop that hand. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise back up from the hips. Switch sides. Hands outstretch, bend that front knee, make sure the knee does not go over toes. Warrior one, inhale and exhale deeply. Warrior two, exalted warrior. You can either place that hand below or above the knee or you can wrap it behind you. You can look down. You can look straight ahead or you can look up. Stand a side angle. Place the, your arm on your side. Raise that left hand up. You can look down. You can look straight ahead. Or you can look up. Inhale and exhale deeply. You can drop that hand. Inhale and exhale deeply. Up. We're going to hands and the toes. Back in the Tadasana. Cross the right foot over the left. Interlock, interlock, excuse me, interlock your fingers behind you. Fold halfway. Release. Switch sides. Place the opposite leg. Bring your shoulders together. And fold. Raise back up from the hips. Run across the legs. Kickstand your heel. Your right heel against the left foot. Place your hands on your hips. You can bring it up or you can bring it Above the knee, 
or you can bring it into the pocket. So I'm gonna stick here for my tree. Then go my tree. Inhale and exhale deeply. Place your hands on your hips. Switch sides. Roll your tree. Inhale and exhale deeply. Release that tree. Place your toes on the floor. You can leave your knee right here. Raise your knee here. Or hold on to that knee. Place that knee behind you. Open up your heart to the sky. Bring that knee, that right foot forward, and continue to think about your unfulfilled desires that you need as you practice with me today. I'll take the left foot. This is level one. This is level two. If you can go a little bit further. This is level three. This is a balancing pose. We all need to work on our balance as we age to avoid falls. And inhale and exhale. Release. Place that foot behind you. Raise your arms up. Turn your heart to the sky. Release that foot. We're going to go into a few sun salutations. So three sun salutations. Eight. Bring them up. Fold. Halfway up. Fold. Place the palms of your head on the ground. Step the left foot, excuse me, the right foot. The left. Come to your knees, uncurl your toes, make sure your palms, your fingers are spread apart, elbows in, release, palms are next to you, upward facing dog, make sure your palms are on the floor, push back onto your knees, Curl your toes. Make sure your fingertips are spread apart, elbows in. Raise those knees up off the floor. Push your hips back into the downward facing dog. Take the relief of taking the pressure off your arms. And walk your hands back to your feet. Bring your knees. Windmill up. Go back into Tadasana, which is a standing pose. 
So I'm start closer to the top of my mat. Windmill up. Windmill down. Fingertips in level one, start here. Level two. Level three. Halfway up. Fold. Bend your knees. Place your palms on the on the mat. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Make sure your, your, your elbows are in. Release down. Unfold your toes. Press up into a cobra. Press back onto your knees. Curl your toes. Push your knees up. Hips back. Fingertips spread apart. Elbows turned in. So we're going to walk back up to our hands. Level two. Bend the knees. Rise back up. So that's a level two of the modified sun salutation. On the third sun salutation, I'll do a full sun salutation A. So you remember steps one and step two. And then I'll show you step three, which is a full sun salutation. Windmill up. Windmill down. Halfway up. Fold. Step back. Step back. Push myself into a plank. You can actually you can go onto your knees. Level one and two. I push my toes forward. Go down. Upward facing dog. From my toes, I push myself back into a downward facing dog. Bend my knees. Just Get a little leverage. Step my right foot forward, left foot forward. Come up. Go back into Tadasana. So that's level one, level two, level three of sun salutations. So go to your knees. We're going to do some kneeling cat cows. If you have a blanket, use your blanket, especially if you have knee issues. And we're still, our intention for this yoga practice is to focus on your unfulfilled needs and desires and come out of this with a plan. Because your needs and desires will be met if that's your focus. Place my knees on a blanket. This has to eat knee issues. Make sure my fingertips are hip width apart. My knees are hip width apart. Push the hip out. Pull it in for cat. Throw my toes for support. Cat. Cow. Cat. Cow, cat, cow, cat, cow, cat, cow, cat, cow. I'm going to toes, stretch my right, my left foot out, point my toes, bring my knees into my left 
elbow, push it out, bring my knees to my nose, press it out, bring my knees to my right shoulder, press it out, and release my left knee, raise my right foot, bring my knee to my right shoulder, press it out, bring my knee to my nose, press it out, bring my knees to my left shoulder, press it out, drop, push yourself into a child's pose. Come back into the table, thread that right hand through the left, push your shoulders back, you can stay here for level one, drop your head to the floor for level two, and place your arm behind you for level three, inhale and exhale deeply. Unwrap that right hand, press yourself back up, thread that left through the right, stretch that right hand out, stay here for level one, level two, lay your head, your side of your face on the floor, and level three, wrap that back hand behind you. Unwrap that hand. Remove your blanket or your towel or whatever you have to support your knees. Lay on your stomach. Make sure your palms are facing the ground. On your mat, uncurl your toes. Twist from your left hip. And your head will fall. Return to the center. Twist to the right. Return. Twist from the hips. The head will follow. Return. Twist to the right. The head is just following. And return, place the left hand on the right. Stretch your arms out as if you're an airplane, palms facing the floor. Take that right hand, excuse me, the left hand, use it as a support. Roll with the left, right arm, arm is still outstretched. Go into a shoulder roll. Using that left hand as a kickstand. Roll back over, use the right hand as a kickstand. Roll over onto the left. Switch. Switch. Roll over to the center. Bring your hands back together. Roll over onto your back. You can use a block if you have blocks. Place your bottoms of your feet on the floor, raise your knee. We're going to raise our hips up into a bridge. If you have blocks, you can put your blocks under you. You can create your bridge this way. If you don't have blocks, make sure your fingertips are flat on the mat. They're right behind the heel of your feet and push up. 
Inhale and exhale deeply. Please stretch your feet out. Place your left foot on the floor. Raise your right foot. Hold on to your thigh or your calf. Raise up or down. Raise the chest off the floor, lower down. Raise the chest off the floor, lower down. Raise the chest off the floor, lower down. Up. Drop that right foot. Raise the left and take it to another level. You can stretch out that right foot. Either place your interlock your fingers behind your thigh or hold on to your calves. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Bring your knees into your chest. Remember. Think about your unfulfilled needs and desires. Just focus. Focus on your unfulfilled needs. Give me a moment of stillness. Stretch your hands out like an airplane. Make sure the palms are on the bottom. Place the floor. Rotate your hips to the right. Go to the left. Inhale and exhale. Switch sides. Return to the center. Drop your knees to the left. Look to the right. Raise those knees back up. Roll over to the right. Use your left hand as a kickstand. So go into a seated position. Raise your arms up. Twist to the right. Place your left hand on your right knee. Place your hands behind you. Inhale and exhale deeply. Switch. Rotate to the right. Place the right hand on the left knee. Rotate to the left. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Inhale and exhale deeply. Drop your chin to your chest. Inhale and exhale deeply. Raise your chin to the sky. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Rotate your chin to your right shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Rotate your chin to your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. We 
Return to the center. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale deeply. Return to the center. Raise your arms to the sky, palms face each other, and hold. Inhale and exhale deeply. Walk your stuff back up. Lay flat on your back. I'll scan your body. Remember, we're focusing on unfulfilled needs and desires for today. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Relax. Make sure your palms are right next to you. Feel the sensation in your ankle. Inhale and exhale. Feel the sensation in your left ankle. Feel the sensation in your right shin. Feel the sensation in your left shin. Feel the sensation in your right knee. Feel the sensation in your left knee. Feel the sensation in your right thigh. Feel the sensation in your left thigh. Feel the sensation in your right hip. Feel the sensation in your left hip. Feel the sensation in the right side of your rib cage. Feel the sensation in the left side of your rib cage. Feel the sensation in your right shoulder. Feel the sensation in your left shoulder. Feel the sensation in your throat. Feel the sensation in the middle of your eyebrow. Feel the sensation in the top of your head. Focus on your unmet, unfulfilled needs and desires. Enjoy your Shavasana.
Place your feet on the floor, knees up. Drop your knees to the right. Bring your knees into your chest. Rest on your right hand. Use your left hand as a kickstand. Inhale and exhale deeply. Use your left hand to push, push yourself back up into a seated position. Go back into an easy position with your, your feet crossed. Place your hands on your head on your chest. Namaste. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Remember, focus on your unfulfilled needs and desires. You deserve the best also. Until next time, visit my Instagram, my Instagram, my Facebook, and my LinkedIn are on my YouTube. Check me out. And I'm going to close out with what we started with. So I remember this mantra for today with everyone with unfulfilled Focus on your unfulfilled needs and desires. Today, I will let go of my belief that my needs will never get met. I will acknowledge my wants and my needs, then turn them over to my higher power. My higher, my higher power cares. Sometimes about the silliest little things, if I do. My wants and needs are not an accident. God created me and all of my desires. You guys have a lovely day. I have posted positions on Instagram. Involve, I get involved in the challenges, do a little TikTok. I'll add my TikTok also. Please subscribe to my channel. I will attempt to post a YouTube video in one of my capacities at least once a week. This was great. I enjoyed it. And I'll be back hopefully by Thursday. I will share this also in my yoga zone, which I have attached that on my YouTube channel. Please join me. Send me comments of what you want, your um, you know, what mantra you want, what poses you would like to see. I'm here to serve you to develop this channel, to get you through this crisis or whatever you're going through. In addition to what's happening in the world today, go and enjoy your day and focus on your unfulfilled desires and needs because you deserve it. You put in the work, you've done what you're supposed to do. You have a blessed day. May God be with you. Namaste.